are here to introduce you to the Battery Lifesaver electronic device, otherwise called the BLS. The Battery Lifesaver is a patented electronic device that rejuvenates old batteries, maintains working batteries in optimal condition, and extends battery life. The Battery Lifesaver will work on any lead-acid battery. Lead-acid batteries are typically used in golf carts, boats, tractor trailers, forklifts, solar systems, and RVs among many other applications. In this instructional video we will talk about understanding batteries and the battery lifesaver, connecting and using the battery lifesaver, testing for a bad battery, rejuvenating old batteries, and recording your progress. To understand how the battery lifesaver works, we must first understand how a lead acid battery works. A lead acid battery consists of three basic elements. There are plates made of lead, sulfuric acid, and plates made of lead oxide. For illustration purposes, the battery in this animation only consists of one lead plate, sulfuric acid, and one lead oxide plate. Let us first talk about when the lead acid battery is discharged. When the battery is discharged, the sulfuric acid reacts with the lead, releasing electricity leaving lead sulfate crystals in a mostly water solution. When a battery is recharged, the lead sulfate crystals break apart and the system returns to lead, sulfuric acid solution, and lead oxide. So what is the problem? Why do batteries fail prematurely? During recharge, most of the lead sulfate crystals are reconverted back into lead, lead oxide, and sulfuric acid solution but a small amount of the lead sulfate remains in crystal form. Every time the battery is discharged and charged, more of these crystals are deposited on the plates. These crystals interfere with the flow of electricity. The battery will take longer to charge and a charge will last less time. The Battery Lifesaver electronic device uses patented square wave technology to take care of this problem. It sends a radio signal that matches the frequency of the lead sulfate crystals. This dissolves the sulfate crystals that accumulate on the plates, returning the battery to its original condition. When you receive the battery lifesaver, the package will contain the BLS, and some models will include a switch. There are different BLS models depending on the voltage of your battery or battery system. Models range from 12 to 156 volts. Only one battery lifesaver unit is needed for a system with multiple batteries. The model shown here, the BLS48B, is for 48 volt golf carts. The BLS operates from the power of the batteries. It is recommended to charge the system regularly. If you do not plan on charging the system for an extended period of time, install the switch and turn the BLS off during this time. Connecting the BLS is very simple. On a single battery, first identify the positive battery terminal. Connect the red wire from the BLS to this positive battery terminal. Then identify the negative battery terminal. Connect the black wire from the BLS to this negative battery terminal. Next, we will demonstrate connecting the BLS to a system with multiple batteries. The BLS can be used on multiple batteries that are connected in series or in parallel. To connect the BLS to a system with multiple batteries, you must first determine the first and last battery. The first and last batteries are the same batteries that the charging source is connected to. Connect the red wire from the BLS to the positive battery terminal of the first battery. Then connect the black wire from the BLS to the negative terminal of the last battery. Once you have connected the BLS, simply use the battery system as normal. Be sure to charge the system regularly. The battery lifesaver is not able to rejuvenate a battery that has a short or open cell. We always recommend testing for this condition before you start rejuvenating an old battery or battery system. If there is only one or a couple of bad batteries in a system with multiple batteries and you plan on using the BLS, you only have to replace the bad batteries with another used or new battery test for a bad battery, charge the battery or battery system until it is completely charged. Remove charger. If you have a system with multiple batteries, 
disconnect the batteries from each other. Let the battery or batteries sit for 8 to 10 hours. This is to remove the surface charge. Using a voltmeter, measure the voltage of each battery. Reference this chart that is found in the instruction manual. For example, if the battery is a 12 volt battery and the voltage is below 10.6 volts, it is a bad battery and it needs to be replaced. Rejuvenating old batteries. The battery lifesaver can rejuvenate old lead acid batteries that do not have a shorter open cell. Before starting this process, please follow the procedure to test for a bad battery. The key to rejuvenating a battery or battery system with a BLS is to cycle the batteries with the BLS attached. A cycle is a full charge then discharge. With every cycle, the BLS will be gradually dissolving the sulfate crystals. Depending on the age and condition of the battery or battery system, it can take from 3 to 15 cycles to completely rejuvenate them. Bigger batteries and battery systems may take longer. In many cases, for example in golf carts, solar, wind, and forklift applications, you can simply connect the BLS and use the battery system as normal, charging after every use. This will allow for easy, carefree cycling of the battery system and effective rejuvenation. After you have tested for a bad battery, connect the BLS to the battery or battery system, then fully charge. Once the battery is fully charged, disconnect or turn off the charger. Next, you need to discharge the battery system. The BLS does use power from the batteries to operate so you can just leave the BLS attached for 18 to 24 hours to discharge. If you would like to speed up the process, attach a load to the battery system to speed up the discharge. Repeat these steps until the battery or battery system reaches optimal condition.